Once you've identified the type of mentor you're looking for and who indeed that mentor will be, you need to ask them. But many people find that difficult. I talked earlier about how many mentors or potential mentors will say no when you ask them. And in fact, the more successful someone is, the more likely it is that they won't have the time to mentor you. That's fine. It's really important to get over that fear of rejection, that fear of a no. Because when someone says no to mentoring you, it's very often not about you, particularly if they don't know you. It's about their time. It's about the capacity they have. I will, for example, mentor maybe two people at a time. And anyone else who asks me is going to get a straight no, whatever my relationship with them, because I don't have the capacity. So it's not about you. Very often it's just about what's right for them. So number one, get over that fear of being turned down. And then I think there are three reasons that we don't ask beyond fear of rejection. Number one is we don't look, want to look vulnerable. We, we're, we're in a civilization, in a society, where strength is seen in terms of knowing the answers, of not having doubts. And that, that leads to a fear of looking weak and looking vulnerable that stops us asking for help. The second is that we don't want to be a burden to other people. And the third is we think people won't be interested in us and in helping us. So let's look at each of those. Look at the vulnerability first. Well, I think that all depends on the way that you present yourself and, and the way you ask. If you turn around to a potential mentor and say, look, I'm really feeling out of my depth. Um, I don't understand most of my job. I'm really struggling and I'm never going to get a promotion at this rate. Would you help me? You're probably looking a little bit weak. But if you turn around and said, I'm loving what I do. I'm enjoying the role, I'm feeling fulfilled. I think there's a lot more I have to give though. I want to achieve as much as I can in my career. I look at you and I look at what you've done and I think there's a lot I could learn from you that's gonna help me grow. Would you help me? That doesn't sound weak at all. That sounds like someone who knows where they're at, knows where they want to go and knows what they want to do to get there. So it's merely in the way that you phrase it. Secondly, we talked about being a burden to other people. Now, I'm a great believer that we tend to take a lot of pleasure from helping other people in our network. If we help people with introductions or advice or guidance or whatever it might be, and they apply it and something good comes out of it, it gives us a buzz. I think we get more pleasure from helping other people than being helped ourselves. So in fact, when we don't ask for help, we're denying people pleasure. Now, obviously, if someone doesn't know you, then they're less inclined to get pleasure from giving you that support at that stage. But as they get to know you, as they get to work with you, if you listen, if you learn, if you apply, if you, are, if you review and if you report back and you show that you're learning from them, you show that you, you respect them and you're taking them seriously, they'll get a tremendous boost from that. So... You're only being a burden, really, if you're asking for people's time and, you, and their mentoring and their advice and their expertise, and then you do nothing with it because you're wasting their time. As long as you intend to listen and apply, then you can put that fear of being a burden out of your mind. And finally, we're worried that people won't be interested in helping us. Well, I think this is very similar to the last point. People take pleasure from helping people they like. So... If you turn to people with whom you have an established relationship, they probably will be interested. And if they just don't have the time, don't take it personally. So when it comes to finding your right mentor, understand your criteria and objectives. Who are you looking for? Look to your network, your network's network, for people at events and to a company scheme to find them. And then finally, understand what's holding you back from asking and rationalize those fears and ask because people don't make a habit of putting themselves forward to being mentors.